shoot, man. I try to see them as much as I can, but things just get hectic. Ooh. Cold parenting, you know? So it's a weird thing to say, but they kind of got used to me being gone for two, three months at a time, you know? Not something I'm too proud of. <sighs> it's been their life. Damn, what? You know where you get those soccer skills from? Not me. <laughs> Not me. You know who used to be a soccer player? A lot of cardio ago. You got her skills, dude, because I'm not good at soccer. Man, uh, hopefully the goal is to make good amounts and uh, and be there for them. Seven lights drove or what? Uh, all the lights. All right. Take a dip there. Yes. That's how you want. That's how you want to drive. Yep. All right. Oh, is there a jack in the box? You guys want spicy tacos from Jack in the Box? I got you. I got you. All right. You guys are my kids because Jack in the Box is my. See, I already know where all the Jack in the Box are in the city. No matter where I'm at, I know where the nearest Jack in the Box is. Look, right here. We're already here. <laughs> Come on, guys. Your dad was a Jack in the Box fiend. Spicy tacos for both of you guys? No, I got 41. Can I get the, the hamburger? Lettuce and tomato. Uh, can I get the uh, order of the spicy tiny, tiny tacos? And then let me get a uh, cheeseburger. Okay. And yeah. And that'll be it. So I have your other card, right? Uh, yeah. All right. Hey, I'm on vacation every single day, every every single day. Wait, wait, wait! No, I called dibs. I want to call. I called dibs. I said dibs. Rock paper scissors. Let's go. Rock paper scissors shoot. Boom! All right, we, we, we're team working. <laughs> By the time you guys are older, you're gonna be flying you cars. Guys and I'll be like, man, you, know you guys are but crazy. Dad, you you're gonna hook me up with some flying tires? Yeah, yeah but what I'm trying to say is there's a lot more traction in the back. Okay. Set. Go! So, what I meant to say is the new car is dope. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Not all old school things are good <laughs> compared to the new. Hey. Damn, awful! He's dropping bombs to have knowledge. So, I like to think I'm the parent, but uh. I'm not. <laughs> I'm the child. And food. We teach you the knowledge. <laughs> oh my god. Just moving around, yeah, get a, get the sweat out. We like to do that every day, having a bit of a laugh. Huh? Yeah. No, it's just uh, yeah. sweat got me in the eye. Fuck, like, oh, out again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm need sunny. Fight week, you know what I mean? I love training, I love sweating. Up to you, Joe, what do you want? Nah, we'll just do See, that's again. the difference. We don't have yes men. Well, take has got a bunch of yes men. <laughs> I'm a no man. <laughs> People expect me because I'm, you know, UFC world champ. You know, they, they think I'm, I'm special, they think I'm different. Nothing special about me. It's through hard work and dedication and always pushing myself. You know, people that look up to me and be like, I can do good things, I can be a world champ. And they can, anyone can. The sky's the limit for anyone, I've proved that. I'm just a normal bloke from a small town doing massive things. Conquer in the world. The great rain continues. I don't even know what to bring to fight week. I like to wait till the last minute to pack. I always bring clothes I want to throw away. So I just wear them and then like sweat in them and then throw them away <laughs> at the hotel. <laughs> oh, my mouth guard for sure. This will go in my carry-on because it's important. Okay. So uh, Marge adopted us last year. I think it was actually 4th of July weekend. I went to go get in my car. It was like 7 o'clock in the morning. I was going to go to the gym and I opened my car door. I got into the driver's seat and she literally kind of came out of nowhere and just tried to get in the car with me. And so I went to the gym and I came back and she was still in our front yard just chilling. 
She hadn't gone anywhere. We didn't have a microchip. We put up posters of this found dog and looked for posters for a lost dog. Maybe somebody dumped her. She had some health issues too that she needed to have treated. And so we did that and it only took a couple days, but we were in love with her. Hey, you know you're not supposed to be up on the bed. <laughs> oh yeah, thank you. Dude, there's a place in Katy, I didn't know about this, that it serves pasta in a cheese wheel. It doesn't serve it in the cheese wheel. It makes it in the cheese oh, wheel yeah. and then it serves it to you. It's in yeah. Katy. So we're going there after the time. Okay. <laughs> like, the whole fight camp is always about like, man, what am I going to eat after? Literally, you know, I'm like, man, what am I going to eat? All right, are you ready to get going? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Shadow box, three minutes. Okay. Go through your list in your head. Uh, today, I think we're going to do a little bit of grappling. Just kind of to sweat. It'll be nice and light. I'm not going to do anything too strenuous. Just kind of running through some stuff that I think we're going to see in the fight. Now we're it's kind of the exciting part about MMA, I think, is like, go in there, you make stuff happen. I'm like, I want to know. I want to find out. One time. Yeah, I think I have like 19 pro fights, and I'm, I've probably been the underdog in like 16 of them. Just be the best one yet. That's yeah, right. can't be the biggest Almost. upset if you're not the biggest underdog. That's, That's right. right. <laughs> Hell yeah. And we just keep on breaking hearts. You got any other luggage? No I'm actually way more of a dangerous fighter than I was when I fought Robbie Lawler the first time. I know he's a lot older too. He's living a lot more of a peaceful life than I am. But, uh, you know, same as before, you know, I don't really see any windows of opportunity for him. He's going to have to dig deep. And, um, yeah, it's really a bad matchup for him like it was last time. Hey, Kino Valentina. Yeah, hi. How are you? Nice to meet you. Yeah, okay. That's your sister. Hi. Nice to meet you. How are you doing, man? I'm John Williams. I'll be the of the athlete relations team this week, so if you have any questions for us, think about times or where to be, man, I'll be here to talk to you. I just want to confirm, teammates of yours are Martin Sano and Nick Maximoff as well? Okay, cool. Pretty much it for me. We'll push, out, push you to a poster signing and grab your equipment, and then we'll kind of have hang out here, okay? Cool, man. Thank you, sir. Is there anything you miss about the fight week? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Thank you. Good. We're going to have your fight kit here to try on since you uh, haven't worn the Venom gear yet for us. You like the longer ones? Uh, these are fine. Yeah. These? Okay. And you want to say black, right? Not blue. Right? Yep. Got it. How does it feel putting on the fight glove? Pretty good. Pretty good. So we'll go with the large? Okay. Okay? Okay. Thanks, guys. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. There we go. What? What that was it? I'm gonna lose my confidence if I keep doing this. Go get one in, eh? There we go. What the f? <laughs> How bad is this, like? <laughs> yeah, you gotta take a shot! What? Come on, man! What's Thank this? You. You're over! Hey! Let's go! <laughs> I know I'm not good, but I'm never using it this bad. What did I tell you? Get behind you! 